everyone. Welcome back to another intriguing episode of Chapter to Cinema. This is a follow-up episode on our previous one featuring the movie Maharaj, a 2024 Indian Hindi language historical drama directed by Siddharth P. Malhotra and produced by YRF Entertainment, starring Junaid Khan, Jaydeep Ahlawal, Shalini Pandey, and Sharvi. If you haven't watched that video yet, may I please request you to watch it? The link is in the description box below. This film is based on Maharaj libel case of 1862 and Shorup Shah's novel of the same name on this case. But beware, this episode contains spoilers. Before we dive any deeper, here's a quick spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Maharaj yet and want to experience the story firsthand, you might want to pause here and come back after watching the movie. we are about to discuss some key plot points and creative choices that could give away important details so please proceed with caution Maharaj tells the story of Karsan Das Mulji a revered Gujarati journalist and social reformer who challenged institutional religious authority the film attempts to capture the essence of Karsan Das life and work but it introduces a romantic angle that has sparked quite a bit of controversy especially among Gujarati literature lovers in the movie Karsan Das is portrayed as a passionate reformer whose dedication to social causes is triggered by the tragic death of his fiance this creative liberty taken by the filmmakers did not sit well with many who revere karsan das's legacy this inclusion of a romantic subplot while adding dramatic tension has been seen by some as diminishing karsan das's stature and the gravity of his social reforms let's dig deeper into why this romantic angle has caused a stir So Karsan Das Mulji was an alumnus of Elphinstone College in Mumbai and an English educated journalist with a strong aversion to institutional religious authority. His work was motivated by a genuine concern for social causes and not personal tragedy. By introducing a fiance whose death becomes the catalyst for his actions, the film shifts the focus from Karsan Das's ideological battles to a more personal vendetta. This film attempts to humanize Karsan Das by showing his personal loss but it also veers away from the historical reality. In real life Karsan Das's commitment to social reform came from his intellectual convictions and his acute dislike for institutional corruption. He was appointed by the Bombay government to administer the state of Kathiawar in 1867 and he also tackled numerous social issues the damaraj libel case remains as most famous due to its sensitive nature apart from his work on the maharaj libel case karsan das tackled several other social causes advocating for reforms that challenged the conservative norms of those times the karsan das mulji municipal library in mathiran stands as a testament to his enduring legacy however the film's portrayal narrows the breadth of his contributions by focusing heavily on the romanticized element Now what do we learn from this the adaptation process often involves creative choices that can stir mixed reactions in the case of maharaj the romantic angle was intended to add depth and emotional resonance but it also risks oversimplifying karsan das's complex motivations it's a reminder of how adaptations must balance historical accuracy with narrative appeal audience reactions to his creative choices have been polarized some viewers appreciate the added emotional layers while others feel it detracts from the historical significance of karsan das's work it's a fine line that adaptations often walk balancing the need for dramatic storytelling with respect for the source material despite these controversies maharaj has succeeded in bringing a historical figure's story to a wider audience The film faced significant legal challenges including a stay from the Gujarat High Court due to concerns about potential incitement of violence. Nevertheless, it found its way to audiences via Netflix providing a platform for further discussions about historical narratives and their modern day representations. So now, 
dear audiences, what do you think? Did the romantic subplot enhance or detract from the story of Karsan Das Mulji? Remember that every adaptation brings its own interpretation to the table. And while some choices may be contentious, they open up valuable conversations about history, storytelling, and the power of cinema. And that's all for this episode. Until next time, keep exploring the rich world of adaptations with us. Have you written a book that you think would make a great movie? Do let us know in the comments below. And as always, keep dreaming, keep writing, and remember, your story might just be the next big adaptation. Thank you for tuning into Chapter to Cinema. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave us a review. See you in the next episode soon. Thank you. Thank you.